Hello and welcome back to ECS Coffee. My name is Rebecca and today we are going to be taking a look at the DeLonghi La Specialista Arte Evo. Say that five times fast. This is a semi-automatic espresso machine from DeLonghi. They did have the Le Specialiste Arte, but have come out with this machine that has a, um, a beverage upgrade to it. So we now have the cold extraction technology infused into this machine. So we're going to brew a few beverages. It's definitely going to brew a cold brew, but let's take a look at some of the specs of this machine first. So you have a bean hopper up top with eight precise grind settings, a pressure gauge to be able to monitor the espresso as it's pouring, a um, approximately two liter reservoir on the back. It looks like it's just under two liters. You have your dose level dial at the front to increase or decrease the amount of ground espresso going into the pour filter. You have your uh, filter basket selection, so you can either grind for a double shot or for a single shot. You do have temperature settings that you can set on this machine, which is fantastic. So if you're somebody that likes an extra hot beverage, you'll be able to program that there. We also have our program beverage menu here. So we have cold brew, which is the new one, espresso, Americano, and hot water. You also have a descale function on this dial as well. And then you have a button right here for your steam wand. So we have a nice manual steam wand on the side here. We're going to test that and see how powerful it is, see what kind of foam we can get from it. This machine comes with everything that you need to set up the machine and use the machine successfully. So you have a 51 millimeter portafilter, looks just like this. You also get what's called the barista kit. So you have a dosing funnel and tamping assister. So this is going to ensure that there's no coffee going all over the countertop and that you're tamping straight down and you're level. You also have your tamper here. So it's a nice stainless steel tamper. It has a, a decent weight to it and it looks nice as well. You wouldn't need to upgrade this, um, but you could of course if you wanted to, but this is a really great tamper to have. If you'd remove the funnel, you also have this little stand here, which is for your portafilter. So you sit it in and it's going to stay level on the countertop so that you can tamp successfully straight, all of that good stuff. So it's really great. It's uh, nicely set up, very organized to have this little station here. Get a little steaming jug with the machine as well. So I like the size of a steaming jug. Any bigger and you're steaming too much milk. Um, so this is a really great size. It has a nice spout and a good size handle as well. You're not kind of shoving your fingers through there. This little tray here is removable, so you can remove that for your espresso, for your larger cups. If you wanted to use just a little espresso cup, you could place that back on. It does have some holes on the bottom that fit in nicely on the drip tray, so it doesn't move around. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be using the bigger cup, so I'm going to take it away. The drip tray is removable as well and you do have a little indicator that will pop up here if your drip tray is full. Just emptying, emptying it every day is, is your best practice though. Well, I would love to make some espresso, so let's power this machine on and brew some coffee. We're gonna start with the cold brew first so that my ice doesn't melt any more than it is. So, very easy operation. Funnel goes on top of the 51 millimeter portafilter. And you sit your portafilter and your funnel right here. Just going to tap it and it's going to grind to the dose level you have it set at, at the grind level you have it set at. And we're using Colombian espresso today Surprise, surprise. I do like this little station, that's awesome. Put a good tamp. Okay. Awesome. That looks fantastic. Good espresso puck there. And now we'll put it up into the group head. 
and pull it tight to close. It's a little tight right now since it's a new machine, but over time that gasket loosens. Stick my mug underneath with the ice and I'm going to turn over to cold brew. See how the light changed from espresso to cold brew? I like that. So you know for sure which beverage you are going to be brewing. From here, I'm just going to press okay. So the cold brew extraction is different than the over ice function that DeLonghi has on some of their espresso machines. The cold brew function does brew more true to a cold brew coffee as opposed to an over iced Americano or over iced espresso. So it does take longer to brew. You can hear it pulsing. It's going to come out and look more like black coffee and it does take, um, it takes under five minutes to brew, but it does take a long time to brew. It brews at a lower temperature, almost like lukewarm. So not cold, cold, not ice cold out of the fridge, but definitely cold. Our cold brew has finished brewing now. So we are, I am ready to drink this. So you can see, you can tell that it's cold brew, more coffee style because it looks more transparent. I, when it's the over ice function that the Longhi introduced into their espresso machines, the crema is throughout. This looks um, like coffee. So cheers. It's really, really good. It's very smooth, sweet, really tasty. Uh, really refreshing as well. I know we're entering into uh, the cooler months now, but this is, this is really good. I could go for an iced coffee at any time of the year, as I'm sure some of you may be able to as well. Um, this is delicious. Mm. Yeah, really, really great. A uh, great addition to this espresso machine as well. With any espresso machine, you are able to make an iced Americano. You just brew your espresso over ice and add cold water, but that does affect the flavor of the espresso. When espresso is brewed hot, you get different flavor notes than when it's being brewed through a lower temperature. So uh, this is really fantastic. They've really perfected that in their espresso machines and I love it. It's a beautiful, beautiful addition. Um, let's uh, pull another shot, use the steam wand and make a uh, cappuccino. Feeling a lot of foam today. So I'm gonna knock out my espresso puck here. I've got the uh, DeLonghi knock box over here. You can of course use any other knock box or, ooh, basket came all the way out. Okay. Maybe I need to lower my dose a bit. I'm gonna put that down just a little bit um, so that it's not as packed in. There we go. And give it a good press. Awesome. Like this grinder, it doesn't feel like crazy loud either. Um, I know that that's a, a concern for a lot of people is the volume of your grinder, especially when you're grinding in the morning, you don't want to make wake up the whole house. This one is definitely on the quieter side. Of course, it is still a coffee grinder, so it's still going to make noise. I'm just gonna polish that off a bit. Okay, perfect. That looks like a much better dose level there. So DeLonghi uh, does have a little line on the inside of their portafilter baskets to note where you should be dosed to after tamping. And we look like we're there, so that's perfect. We're going to turn my dial back to espresso. So since uh, this has a manual steaming wand, we're not going to have any pre-programmed milk beverages because you need to make it. So you need to know the recipe uh, for whichever beverage you're making. There we go. And I'm going to click OK. And now we're going to be able to watch our needle rise on the gauge. And if it gets up into the optimal zone, then we know we have a good espresso shot. So we're going through the pre-infusion right now. 
the needles continuing to rise as the espresso color changes. And it's continuing to rise still. So we were like just in the optimal zone. Um, for a milk beverage, this is going to be perfectly fine. If there's any uh, like sourness or acidity in the espresso, that's a little unpleasant if I were to drink it black, that's going to be counteracted by the milk. So the milk's gonna smooth everything out, but the color looks good. My crema looks good as well. I'm not gonna waste a halfway decent shot. Smells good too. It doesn't smell overly acidic, so I have high hopes. Now, one of my complaints about um, the steam wands DeLonghi has on their semi-autos is that they're not very mobile. You don't have a lot of space. So I wish it could come up just a little bit higher right out of the gate. Um, but we're going to see it steaming, steaming capabilities. So I'm just gonna press it back down and give it a bit of a purge. So heating up the steam wand before steaming, making sure there's no clogs in the holes of the steam wand as well. You see it go in there. I'm gonna click it off and set myself up for success with steaming. So anchoring my steam jug on the steaming wand with the spout. The tip of my steam wand's just on the surface of the milk. This is a good steam wand. It's really powerful. Like really powerful. Yeah, really great. Heats up really fast, smooth. Yeah, that's awesome. I love that. Oh yeah. That is really fantastic milk. Um, I, DeLonghi's steam wands I have found have been a little on the low side of pressure. So this steam wand is probably twice as powerful, I would say, as some of their other steam wands on their other semi-autos. So loving that for sure. A lot of banging going on here. Yeah, that's awesome milk. Um, beautiful. That is real good. <laughs> yeah. I am loving this machine. Wow, every aspect of it is really hitting it out of the park for me. I, when I set this machine up, which I, I just did, it was really easy to dial in. I am going to make one more adjustment though, and I'm going to make the grind size just a little bit finer to get that pressure up a little bit since we'll be making an Americano next. There we go. That pot came out much easier, so my dose level is good there. I'm just going to put the portafilter in without the um, funnel on, just so that I can grind and change. There we go. So I just went one notch finer because we were pretty up there with our pressure. Um, we just needed like a little bit more. Little heating tray up top as well, so it's nice and warm. Awesome. I keep forgetting about this. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. That was a big difference in grind size, just changing it one notch. So you can see now our puck looks even better. Our pucks have been consistently getting better. Um, we are still like dialing in the machine since we've only pulled a handful of shots off of it. I don't know why I said machine like that. All right, turn our dial over to Americano now, and then I'll click OK. So it's going to um, put in the hot water for me right into my mug, which is something I've always really liked about the semi-autos from DeLonghi. It's just a one-touch Americano option for you. You don't have to do a two-step process. This shot is looking even better than before, even though our needle's not going up a much higher, the color looks better. go hot water is coming out I like that the water pressure out of this machine is um, not breaking the crema on my espresso it's also not coming out really crazy slow. So it's a good kind of in-between. Sometimes the pressure can be too hard, the crema breaks. I like to have my crema intact personally. And we're done. Easy peasy. All right, it's gonna be quite hot. Yeah, so you can see it. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it steaming. Goodness me. Mm, yeah, that's yummy. It's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Fantastic. So we've got our three drinks here. Every single one was a winner. They were all delicious. Little triangle. Every single one was amazing. So I am really loving this machine. Um, the steam wand, they definitely upgraded the pressure coming out of that wand because it was very consistent. It was very soft but powerful, which helps you to create a nice microfoam, which we were able to achieve like really easily too. It heated up really fast, like a lot faster than I thought it was going to. Um, I wish that there was more grind sizes. I just do, eight is not enough to totally dial in your espresso, but we are able to get some really great shots off of this machine. That would just be to take it to the next step. All in all, amazing machine. Um, the grinder's relatively quiet. It's easy to use and easy to operate. I love the little accessory tray that they give you. It keeps everything nice and organized. Sometimes you have all of these accessories and they're all kind of floating around. I love that, that's great. Uh, you do get some bas different baskets with this machine as well, so that's awesome. Um, yeah, really great. I mean, I, I know that the La Specialista Arte was a awesome machine that they came out with, but the cold brew function that they've introduced into this machine and are starting to do on their other machines as well is great. It makes a really, really, really beautiful iced coffee, and I love that they've put it in there. So, um, yeah, awesome. Five out, of, five out of five stars for me. So uh, thanks for watching guys. And if you liked our video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel if you wanna stay up to date with us and uh, make sure to follow us on all of our social media channels and check out our blog that you can access on our website and come by sometime in late 2023 to our store that we're opening in Toronto, Ontario. So you can come see us now in Ancaster, Burlington and soon in Toronto. So we'll see you then guys.